Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is literally going to be a super quick last minute Halloween nails tutorial. Simple, simple ideas. If you haven't done any nails and you want something really quick and easy, I'm just going to show you three different ideas. I'm going to be using some gel 2 and I'm going to be using some Bundle Monster holiday plates and I'm also going to be using some Nail Stamping Queen stamping polishes. So really quick, easy ones. There's nothing difficult about these. So let's get started. Okay, so the three base colours that I'm going to be using are By the Bay, which is G095. I'm going to be using Heartbeat, which is G159. And I'm going to be using Midnight Black, which is G003. Okay, so that's done. And what I'm going to do now is this is the second layer of the black. I'm going to just very lightly wipe over and remove the inhibition layer carefully because as you can see you do remove some of the colour so don't rub too hard it doesn't take much to get the inhibition layer off I don't stamp on the inhibition I don't stamp on the inhibition layer as it just it doesn't work as well for me so I just don't do that okay so that's that done so I'm just going to grab the stamping okay guys I've had a huge issue with this plate here Neither of those images are picking up, so we're just going to scrap that idea. And I'm going to go and use, fingers crossed this one works, I'm going to use these cat's eyes from the Bundle Monster Holiday 8 plate. So, same polish, which is the silvery in the nail um, Stamping Queen polish. So cover the eyes nicely. And always helps if I show you. So scrape, grab your stamper, press it on. Lots of eyes. Then I'm just going to line up my image. Press down, pull away, and there I have some perfect cat's eyes. Okay, so that last plate, I really unfortunately have a poor one, which is a real shame because that's the only two really trick-or-treaty sort of Halloween ones I like. So I will write to Bundle Monster to see if I can get a replacement. Um, anyway, so that's the first one. Okay, so with my green, green glittery one, I'm just going to again very gently quickly wipe over just to remove any of the tacky layer. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to attempt, and I say attempt because these stamps haven't proved very, very good so far, I'm going to use the scary face, so which is Bundle Monster Holiday 06. And I'm going to use this colour from the Nail Stamping Queen, which is 6 Fluoro Orange. So fingers crossed it works so I'm going to just unscrew the lid cover my image I don't actually need to cover the entire thing but just for safety's sake I am doing that today because these stamps stamping plates have proved a little bit unreliable so pop the face onto my stamper and that's actually picked up nicely so now I've got to try and line it up so what I do when I line it up is I will probably just guess these are probably a little bit big these images for this narrow nail but we'll see so I'm going to say about there I'm going to pop it on press pull off and just any little bits I'm just going to tap down now that's okay that's actually worked quite well it's quite a sparkly nail you could do that in black but I quite like the green and the orange together so that's one nail done okay guys so this last one i'm going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to wipe over just carefully remove the inhibition layer now i'm going to change this one a bit i found on a random plate that i had in my drawer i found this spider's web now the reason i'm not sticking the whole plate in the view is because it's huge so i'm going to do the spider's web theoretically if it works because as you know i'm having trouble with my little stamps and then i'm going to use this little spider from Bundle Monster 1 3, the plate there. So I'm just going to have to see if I can fit this in the camera because it is a big plate. So it's this stamp here. So just keep an eye on that one. I'm running out of room here. And I'm going to use black for my spider's web. So I'm using number one black from Nail Stamping Queen. And I'm just going to, this is a huge image, this one. So these are. These are quite cheap plates. These were from AliExpress, but they are no enormous images. So if you've got big nails, 
you're right with these plates so I want to get the actual edge of the spider's web so I'm going to do it about there now it hasn't picked up how I like so I'm going to do it one more time okie doke second go let's have a go and fingers crossed this works I seem to be picking the plates that don't want to cooperate today so I am using a bit too much polish but I just want to get this done so that you can see what I'm trying to do so scrape pop your stamper on so that's picked up a nicer image this time and then I'm going to line up the curved oops if I don't throw things around try and line up the curved area so that it's at the top of my nail so I'm going to do it about there roll it on just press down pull away you will get those little bits that do pop up you can press those down nicely now obviously if this was a client's nail it's probably not going to be this long so you won't have that big gap at the top so now I'm going to go on to do the spider. Okay guys, I've changed my mind a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand paint the spider because I think if I re-stamp over, a, over an, um, an existing stamp, I think I risk pulling the existing stamp off. So I'm going to have a go at a hand painted spider. So this could be all sorts of hilarious. So bear with me. This is why I like stamping for us who can't stamp. Sorry, for who else who can't hand paint, this is why I prefer it. So I'm going to use a dotting tool and I've decanted, as you saw, some of the silvery polish. So I'm going to use the dotting tool for the spider. This is going to be my own little version of a spider, so just bear with me. So that'll be its head. And then I'm going to use a larger dotting tool for its body. So just go in and smudge that around so it's a bit bigger. Okay, so that really doesn't look much like a spider, but now <laughs> I'm going to use, sorry, I'm not laughing, an Indigo Nails Lab Master Art Brush in 004. So I'm going to paint on the legs. So just very little fine little legs as long as it resembles the spider it's hopefully not going to look too daft I'm just thinning out this polish because it is quite thick so just do another couple of legs there I think the spider web will help it look like a spider. So there's four legs. So now I'm going to try, to try and replicate this on the other side. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but I think if I do stamp, I'm going to risk um, removing the spider's web. And we don't want that when I've had all sorts of issues trying to get it there in the first place. So just another two legs. And there is a smaller brush I could have used. I think this polish is starting to dry. So, okay. It sort of looks like a spider. <laughs> and I'm just going to, yeah, see the polish is drying. So you have to work, if you are going to use the stamping polish to paint with, which is probably not the best thing, you have to use a, you have to be quick. So I'm just going to do a little spider's web just leading down there. Not a web, a strand. I'm going to do a couple of little eyes on the spider too, just because I can. I've got a very, very, very small dotting tool here. Excuse my fingers, there's black stamping polish all over them. And I've just got a tiniest, tiniest bit of stamping polish there. I'm just going to pop two little eyes on. Okie doke. So that is my spider. So I'm going to wait till that dries and I'm going to come back and show you how to top coat. Okay guys, I'm just going to quickly do one more. So I'm just going to remove the inhibition layer. This is two coats of the black gel too. So I'm just going to remove the inhibition layer. Now what I want to create is a graveyard. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use, if I can find where I put it. Oh, there it is. I'm going to use, <laughs> fingers crossed, this Bundle Monster Holiday 08, the RIP gravestones. So I want to put some mist in the background. So I'm going to use some what am I going to use I'm going to use some of the 
silvery as my sort of mist so I'm going to pop a bit on my tile and I'm only going to do a tiny little bit of this just a tiny little bit more <clears throat> I've got a piece of makeup sponge that I've ripped off here and I'm just going to hold it in my tweezers theoretically which I might actually rip that in half because I really don't want too much mist I just want it to be very subtle so I'm going to hold it in my tweezers I'm going to dip it in to the silvery I'm going to shear it out and I'm just going to I just want it to be very very subtle this may look absolutely rubbish but so I'm just going to leave it literally let's get rid of these bits just leave it like that and then I'm going to go in with my stamp now which is here so I'm just going to get the tile out of the way so I'm going to go in and I'm just going to grab the colour okay guys so I'm going to go in with white from the Nail Stamping Queen's new collection and I'm going to just colour my stamp now fingers crossed this works because you know how oops that's way too much that just came running out there okay so scrape off pop it on my stamper now I have got a perfect image that time so this one is obviously well etched and then I'm going to line up my image so this is how I would do this when I would look down on it so that I see that I could get it fairly well lined up so I'm going to do it about there push down sorry guys that's really in your face there pull away and leave it like that so I haven't really captured exactly what I was going but I just didn't want to put it on a plain background so it's a little bit wonky which I, I think it doesn't really hurt the effect either it sort of gives it a nice sort of lopsided gravestone look so I'm just going to clean up and I'm going to come back and show you how to top coat these okay guys so these are ready to be top coated I'm going to be using the gel 2 radiant mirror shine no cleanse top coat so they're all well and truly dry but I don't have any issues using the top coat it doesn't remove any of the image or anything like that it doesn't smudge it so I'm just going to go in normal amount of top coat on my brush and just run over the image sealy free edge make sure it's thoroughly covered and then that will go into your gel 2 lamp for 50 seconds okay guys so they're all done and obviously with a no cleanse top coat I don't need to remove any inhibition layer I do however let them sit for about five seconds before I do touch them and that is recommended by gel 2 okay so we've got the scary face and the cat's eyes and if you can see there the shine is amazing this top coat is really lovely so then we've got another couple I'll just grab the sort of two at a time we've got our seriously dodgy looking spider on the spider web but the red the sparkle on this it really isn't showing up as well on camera as it does in real life it's just beautiful then there's my gravestone with my sort of misty background it actually looks okay I don't I didn't mind how that turned out it has given it sort of that sort of eerie feel and I really love that headstone so that's a really good plate I will pop all the plates below and then I had a bit of a play before I actually started the video I did a bloody one which is okay and I did the same red glittery background and I just added some bats okay so that's all six finished nails there guys look I didn't want to do a really complicated video at all I want to do something really quick and easy using some stamping plates it doesn't have to be an earth shattering hand painted nail to have cute Halloween nails it's the quick easy ones that are sometimes the most effective so I hope this does give you some ideas of what you can do and the gel 2 is a really great product I'm really impressed with it so far as I said I am test dry sort of testing it out um, I'm going to have a lot more nail art tutorials coming up using the gel 2 as I get more colors um, the top coat's really amazing it's a high shine there's no wipe off you go you're done the nail stamping queen polishes as I said in my previous video which I've linked below they are earth shattering they're absolutely brilliant to stamp with I'm really impressed with them 
So guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, let me know in the comments box and I will get back to you and I will pop all the descriptions that you need to know in the description bar. And if you haven't subscribed, please do guys, because I'll have lots more videos coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Ooh, and happy Halloween.